little bit. It's called Beam. Mm -hmm. I thought it was going to be Be Me because it's it's kind of a, an interesting thing. Uh, if you've listened to me talk about uh, Snapchat, Casey Neistat, I think I'm saying the name right. I never am too very sure. Uh, uh, Casey, he, he, he released this app. Uh, well, he's really big big on Snapchat. He's he's kind of a filmmaker, so he kind of knows what he's doing with cameras and that little storytelling kind of method, and, and he's very creative with it, right? Uh, this is not him. This is some reviewer at TechCrunch, if you're on video. Uh, but he's showing off the, the, the video a little bit. So basically, the idea is you have this app, and it's very, it is very Snapchat-like, as in, like, you post it. I don't know if they go away. At, at all but you can't really do anything with them and once you watch them they're gone and basically the entire idea is like i said it's kind of you be me right uh you hold the phone up to yourself be it your forehead or your chest or something like that and you are the person basically the screen goes black until you're done and then the video just automatically uploads so don't play with this app in the bathroom ladies and gentlemen first of all and that's it. Like I'm, I've been playing with this a bit over the last week, like kind of more and more. And I have like six people have spent five minutes and twelve seconds as me. Keep in mind, this automatically does four seconds at a time. Period. Nothing else, right? And uh, so you go in here and and uh, you click on the thing, and I'll pull up our handy dandy feed that we're using for the last show. And if you go in here, if it updates, if it updates, if we update. If we update, um, but you go in here and it, it'll uh, pause for the audio, pause for the audio, and it won't come back. So that's great, too. Uh, but <laughs> you go in here and uh, you you uh, click on like I'm going to click on Casey's here and a video is playing and we can go to that now. Hold on. So a video is playing. And I can tap and, and react with a selfie. And now Casey, on the other end, is going to get a notification, and he's going to be able to see the selfies. Beaming. This is what it looks like. This is, this is now I'm watching you. Oh, geez. <laughs> so you're watching my, my thing from uh, before. Yes. So it, it's very, like, there's not much to it. Like, again, you can kind of uh, trick it. Basically, it's do, using the light sensor on the front of your phone. This is iPhone only for the, for the moment. I don't know if they'll be able to do this as easily on Android phones. Because since that's a little non-standard with the light sensor, I think. I mean, I could be wrong with that. Um, but that's it. That's all there is to it. it. It is basically like that thing where, like, oh, I'm walking down downtown or something like that. Or, hey, I'm sitting here doing a podcast thing. Or I'm sitting at the coffee shop earlier. I'll just take the thing, put it up against my chest. I feel the buzz. It's recording. I look around, do whatever. Maybe I'll do some more motions or something like that. It buzzes again. I'm done. It's uploaded by the time I look at the thing. And that's it. And I don't know. Somebody might find that interesting. Uh, but, you know, maybe I should plug it on other social medias. Uh, but uh, there you go. <laughs> that's it. That's all there is so, to so, it. So, so maybe I missed two, two, two points of clarification. You're limited to four seconds, correct? Yeah. And can, you were saying about linking to it on other social networks. So I don't just, I, it, it's not like oh, Snapchat where I can only get to it through the Snapchat. No, 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 it I, is. It is. I, I'm just saying I should tell other people to follow me. And actually, oh, okay. it's a very, it's kind of an oddly closed thing. Um, I think I can generate new codes to add you to it. But, but chill, if you download it right now, it's going to give you probably a weird like, yeah, you have like 99 days before we let you in or something. Until like okay. I give you a code or you find a code somewhere else. There's actually uh, Reddit's dedicated to finding codes they'll put a code ever, out every once in a while on um on on the beam me app uh i'm sorry beam app twitter and uh and i think like they were on uh, he was on casey was on uh, uh gary vaynerchuk's show the ask gary v show and he actually had a special link this is interesting because there's links you can find and i think maybe you can generate them too uh i don't know it's not really letting me do anything there let me see if i can do that Unlock code. So I can go in here, generate an unlock code. And if you're joining me live, oh, and I can share it out. So here, I'll pull this up. So I can go in here, uh, do an unlock code, and I'll actually just go ahead and hit Twitter. And we'll share this out from Sorgatron. Uh, you're in, here's your personal code to unlock Beam, post, and somebody can click on that on Twitter, and they can follow me in. 
Uh, that's apparently what I did for Dutters. I think I text you the bean mm-hmm. code and, and you were in, and I think I'll probably automatically follow you um, and everything. So, uh, But there's these links you can do, and I think that might be part of it, is you open that on your iPhone. It will download the app if it needs to, and then open it up and input that code and you're in. And that's it. So an in- interesting way to do a kind of closed beta for now. Mm-hmm. I don't know how many more features they would add to these, this thing. I don't know what the... I want to say what the point is, um, but uh, but what it really it is. It, it, I, I kind of joked beforehand. It's kind of like the most useless app ever, but it can't stop using it if you're into this kind of thing. And Dutters has one on here too. So so you did one. Just of here's a. It'll show up in a second. It's probably loading I, uh, since uh, Wi-Fi is a little wonky down here right now. Or it'll just keep Wee. loading. It'll keep loading. We'll keep loading. This would be an interesting one for debtors to do. Be me walking into a bunch of different port johns Yes! I like the challenge. <gasps> there you go. <laughs> yeah, let's see how many people want to be my friend make, after make that. it almost like the TARDIS. Like, they're your... They're your and it'd be interesting, too, if you could make them, like, a, a whole series where it's, like, you walking into one but walking out of another. Be. <laughs> <laughs> that, should, that would be a, sp- a fun thing to do on Snapchat in general. So, yeah. so the trick is, like, if because I saw one where somebody had this was on top of a door and they opened the door and you saw the person walking in under the door. So they're doing something like putting something over the sensor, right? Yeah. In order to make it work and, or, or pointing and they put it over a sink while they're getting ready for the day or something like that or two. Like it was, it's really interesting. And, and again, it kind of, you know, like Snapchat's become this way, like we're limited to do X, Y, and Z, but you have Taco Bell putting together these stories and everything. Right. Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, what can you do with this? I don't know at, at this stage, or maybe there's something coming that I don't know. Uh, you know, like kind of how do you monetize this? How does a company get in? How do I use this to put myself out there uh, if, I, if I am somebody that, that's creatively kind of spreading stuff out? And that's the only thing I can think of is the creatives doing something like this, you know, and just sharing experiences. We talked about the sharing passionary uh, with with uh, Cash on, on the Awesome Chat this week. This is just sharing experiences right it's it, it, it's beam it, it is I, I that's why i was confused at the beginning because i didn't hear them say it i'm like oh it's be me because you're holding it up and you're like i'm gonna be me you're gonna be me for the moment mm-hmm. right and you're gonna see what i see and experience what i experience and uh and it's really interesting and i got a reaction hopefully it loads i don't know what's going on here it's kick. just me going ah <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna kick this on here let me see if we have a little more reaction but anyways Mm-hmm. Um, but no, I think it's a really cool, it's really cool. It's something to experiment. Again, not like anything you desperately, definitely need to get into, like a Snapchat just to figure out what's going on these days. Um, but I think it is still a lot of fun. And uh, there's, and, and actually here, I, so I got a reaction notification at the top, and this is her <laughs> reacting. I'm like, whoa, look at it's yeah. always weird because because it, it, I, I I always have the finger because I held it. That's down. yeah, that's where I, that's the problem is where I hold it. Up here is where also it, right. it just like so so like I'm holding it over like your your thing here and it goes and then my fingers there and I want to move it because I'm and my fingers in the way but then I'm taking snapshots apparent or snapshots apparently as I go mm-hmm. and I don't know it just seems like that that little bit I, I feel like this is something that's going to end up like Snapchat did where they took off the leave the finger on the screen issue yeah. Um, so like uh, they're probably just going to follow lead, but it really is just like an Uber Snapchat, isn't it? Mm-hmm. So, um, so check it out, Beam, uh, Beam app on the Twitters. Keep following that for unlock codes, or ask me, and I'll send you an unlock code. I'm pretty sure I can send unlimited unlock codes.